Unfortunately, corruption deprives all our economies of the money that we need and should have to address issues in relation to health, education, infrastructure. And tragically, corruption affects the most vulnerable and the poorest in our communities. I'm really delighted to welcome you all for the start of a very important conversation. President Buhari saw his country basically being raped by corrupt practices. He agreed immediately when I said, would you be the key speaker? Would you stand up for uh, those who really need the protection and the help and the assistance? Corruption is a hydra-headed monster. It does not differentiate between developed and developing countries. Being a member of the Commonwealth helps in the sense that we have set up a centre. The centre is based in Botswana. We have about 18 countries. Each country gets to share the steps that they have done in the fight against corruption and we learn from one another. Botswana has adopted a zero tolerance uh, approach against corruption. Today we had an interesting visit from the DCEC, that's the Directorate on Economic Crime and Prevention. It is important for children at a very young age to know what corruption is and how to stop it and how to sense when it's going to happen. People have been questioning now, actually, what is the role of the Commonwealth in the modern world? And I see our sister Patricia is really uh, breathing some fresh air. When we talk about corruption, we focus on officials or leaders. We need transparency in the cabinet room as well as in the boardroom of our corporations. Anti-corruption is a shared agenda for civil society, business and government requiring commitment and objectivity. Everything that we've done together are strong signals of a renewed determination to tackle coalitions of the corrupt in our societies and create our own coalition of the just. <laughs>